Hey folks, I'm Mr. Hartzler here for Hartzler University and I want to talk to you about making a particular part. Uh, this one is based off of an intro engineering design component. You can see kind of here, this is what we're hoping to make. We're going to use Revolve to make this happen and uh, along with Extrude, Fillet and Chamfer. So those are the main tools that we're going to be using to be creating this. Let's start off by picking a plane. So to do that, I have to go on the top left of my screen and hit start a sketch. I always start 2D sketches. It is extremely rare that we're going to start a 3D sketch. All right, here's my main screen. I am going to treat all of these dimensions um, like they're just in inches. So I started a file that was in inches. If you did or didn't, whatever, it doesn't matter. Use the same numbers as me, it'll be fine. I am going to use lines first. I am going to start a line and I am going to come straight up and I'm able to type in, you'll see that blue number on my screen. I can type, I don't have to hit the backspace button or anything. And I want to make this 30 tall. Now I need to zoom out so I can use that, my scroll wheel on my mouse to do that. And if I push down on my scroll wheel like it's a button, I can move this whole page around. All right, so from there, I need to come straight out and I'm just making the circle part of that figure I showed you earlier. And it has a diameter of 40. If it has a diameter of 40 right now, I'm going to use the radius. So I'm gonna type in a 20 and I'm going to make sure my angle there on my screen says 90 and then I'm gonna press enter. From there, I'm going to come straight down and I accidentally clicked. So I press escape and then I can right click and delete that line I just drew. I'm gonna pick my line back up and I'm actually gonna start at the bottom. This will be a little bit easier, I think. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna come out. I do not wanna come all the way out. My plans, which I'm looking at on my other monitor, says I need to end up be five short of what I used to be. So five short of that is going to be 15. My degree says zero, which is fine. <coughs> Excuse me. From there, I'm gonna have to come up and I need to come up at a 30 degree angle. So I'm going to hit the tab button so I can change my angle here and I'm going to hit 30 degrees. And it ended up going the wrong direction. So I'm actually going to not do 30. So I'm gonna click on that number again I'm going to do 180 minus 30. And I'm gonna press tab again. And that will push me out to this line here. It's gonna be great. I'm just gonna go way out and click. Then I'm gonna press escape because I want this edge to come straight down and meet that. So I'm gonna start a line again. I'm gonna start on this end and come straight down, making sure it is straight down and it'll kind of lock on to that bottom edge and then I'm gonna click. Great. Now, I don't want that extra line over there. Press the escape button on your keyboard. That'll let you quit doing lines and I can trim a little bit. Up in the top, kind of, it's towards the center of my screen. Depends on your screen shape though, might change a little bit. I, uh, it's actually over here. Sorry, I was putting in the wrong spot. Uh, the middle of all the, the options at the top, there's one that says trim. Looks like a pair of scissors cutting a string. Click on trim, and then you'll click on that extra piece of line. And you'll notice some of it's solid and some of it's dashed. The dashed part is what it'll get rid of. So go ahead and click on that dashed part. That part was way sticking out. We didn't want that. Now I'm gonna hit finish sketch. And I like how zoomed in it is. So I'm gonna click on my house and it zooms me out. Now I'm going to click on revolve. And it defaults to that shape that we already have. Right, it's the only shape there, so it assumes that's what we want to revolve. But over on the left, you'll see where the axis is a little bit red, like the little picture to the left of it is red. It wants me to pick an axis. That's something that's going to spin this around to make it three-dimensional. I'm gonna click on this, for me, it's that far left edge. And then it, it will show you what that thing's going to look like. I'm gonna click on my front view. And that is good. I do have that beveled edge on the bottom. And if you remember, or you can go back, to the picture at the, I showed you at the front. I do want that beveled edge to look like that. So I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna click on my house, on my little, uh, my view selector there. You'll notice I can't quite see that beveled edge, but it is in fact there. I need to put a square on the top of this. So I'm gonna start a sketch on top. 
Now I'm going to put a rectangle there. And I'm just going to put any old crappy rectangle. Okay? I just put any old crappy rectangle there. No big deal at all. And I'm going to dimension it so that it is the correct size. I want this to be a 10. And I'm going to click on my other edge. I want it to also be 10. But now I want it to be centered. To be centered, I know that this top edge of my square and the... Oh, sorry, my light's turned off. And the center of my uh, circle, I want that to be 5 because that's halfway. So I'm going to type in a 5 and press Enter. I'm then going to press press the center of my circle and the left edge of my square. Drag my mouse down a little bit, and I need that number to also be 5. Now it's all centered up. Great! I'm going to hit Finish Sketch, and this time I need to Extrude. It defaults to that one thing I did right there. So I need to change this number, and this is going to be 15. And hit OK. I'm going to go back to my home view. Can't see the beveled edge, but we saw that it's there. Now I need to round off this edge right here. That's kind of hard to see, but I need to round that off. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Let's scooch over. All right, to round off edges, we click what is called fillet. It's spelled like fillet, but it's fillet. Click on that. Then I'm going to click on all four of those edges. I can use my mouse to orbit around. Or I can click on my box in that top right corner. I'm going to click on one of the other corners. And I'm going to click on all those little edges. Click on my next corner of my box in that top right of my window. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that just lets me uh, make sure that I'm getting all those edges. You can kind of see all of mine are blue, whatever color they are. You know, you should, you should see them highlighted there. And then on this pop-up window... One of the options says radius. I need to change that. For me, it defaulted to an eighth of an inch, but I actually want this to be a radius of five. So I'm going to type that in. And in blue on my screen, you can kind of see that it's giving me sort of a preview. And that is, in fact, what I want it to look like. And so I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to click my house view. Great. That is, in fact, the part I wanted. So now I'm going to go up into the top, hit File. Hit save. And for me, I want to make sure it is in my flash drive. And I'm putting it in this particular folder. And I'm going to call this figure 1.2.6 underscore figure 2. Uh, you can call it, or sorry, figure 1. This is figure 1. And I used revolve to make this. All right. Uh, this just helps me to find it later. Whatever your teacher happens to tell you to name it. Name it that. If you're one of my students, you'll name it this, but then you'll also add your name to the end of it. Alrighty, folks, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.